There's really only one reason to own your business. It's to live the life you want to live. I ask all my clients why they own their own businesses, and I get a whole host of answers. But when you boil it down, it always comes back to, so I can live the life I want to live. Unfortunately, that doesn't work out for everybody. We invest our money, we invest our time, we give our hearts and our souls to our businesses. And sometimes, we don't get the return on investment we deserve. Like all entrepreneurs, I've experienced good times and not so good times. Thankfully, I've learned lessons from both, but I've learned really valuable lessons from the tough times. And now I feel like it's my responsibility to share those lessons with you so you can avoid the tough times and enjoy more good times. If your business isn't providing you with the life you want, here are three goals that will help you out. First, change the relationship you have with your business. Too often we allow our businesses to take a dominant relationship that kind of hovers over us and controls our lives. Have you ever known anyone with a terrible illness? Many times the illness becomes all consuming and it's like the illness hovers over our lives and controls everything. Our businesses can do the same thing. We need to reestablish a proper relationship with our business so it doesn't hover over us and control us. Instead, we need to bring it in and make it part of our lives, like our family is part of our life, our faith is part of our life, our health, our community. We need to establish that relationship where we are in control. Next. Let's get your business in a position where it's actually paying you back to give you a good return on your investment in money, in time, and in peace. Surrounding yourself with great people is wildly important, but it's critical that we put in the systems and processes that create the efficiency and ultimately create time for you. By installing those systems and processes, it will allow you to move away from the day-to-day -day so you can grow the company, or do the things that you really need to be doing. And ultimately, you'll have more time and you'll enjoy more peace. Now that your business is paying you back, it's time to reinvest that back into your life, into the things that really matter, like your family and your church and your community and your friends, your hobbies, all the things that bring you joy. That's why you own your own business, right? I know it's why I own my own business and it's why I love being a company growth coach. I have to believe the reason I went through all the experiences I have, the good, the bad, and the ugly, it was to share them with you. Over the last three weeks, I've introduced you to three key components of entrepreneurship. Lead your people, grow your company, and live your life. I'm excited to announce that we are changing the name of our weekly blog to Lead, Grow, Live. Since we began Company Growth Academy, I've tried to remind you of the importance of growing as an individual, growing as a leader, and growing your company. And you've likely noticed that as I end each video, I say, as you grow, your company grows. Keep growing. But from now on, my goal is to remind you why you started your business in the first place. To lead your people, grow your company, and live your life.